Hello everyone and welcome to your third episode of Explaining Weather. Before this video does start, this is proudly sponsored by Floyd Glass and Window. You can check them out in the link below. Before we do get into everything with um, these hectopascal stuff that I'm explaining today, I first have to say thanks to Keith Jones who suggested that I make this video. Uh, I just gotta say a quick thanks. I'm more than glad to make videos for you guys. If you guys have any suggestions or any questions about weather, I'll be sure to make a video or answer you in that comment section. But let's get into this. So what exactly is a hectopascal? That's what I'm explaining today. So um, this basically, um, this has the technical definition here, a centimeter gram second unit of um, pressure that's equal to one thousandth of a bar or one thousand dynes per square centimeter uh all that stuff uh, but basically this is a measurement of pressure that's commonly used in weather helps us predict thunderstorms when things are going to get cold or warm it also helps predict severe thunderstorms and where the wind paths are going to be so let's start with this this is a pressure map so the blue indicates low pressure and the orange here indicates higher pressure and you can see right here the anomaly just how far off it is so so if we get farther down here into the darker blues down here, that's very strong. Um, the um, darker oranges um, up there, that's when you also get very strong high pressure. So nothing overly strong here, but there are a few observations I can make. First of all, I know that there is a jet stream that is going down the south, pulling cold air in and shooting up back up that cold air so the main source here is that cold air which makes me say oh this must be a cold front so um here you go you can see that that cold front it's going up and down right here so this is what i can tell so as you know high pressure in general um leads to not too much precipitation as that cold air moves in so not too much precipitation on the high pressure side low pressure side you're going to see a bit more precipitation there uh and then over here you can see um that high pressure the winds because it turns clockwise those are gonna move right in to this cold front so you're gonna have the um, air clash there when that air clashes you could get isolated severe storms along this line now this is not um, probably actually gonna happen this is just observations made like this is like five weeks in advance from the making of this video and this is just a graphic that I pulled up here nothing that'll probably actually happen well we have had a setup like this before but this probably this exact setup is likely not going to happen uh and then as you can see we also do have a second jet stream it's so right down here those are the observations i can make so that's how it helps me make weather forecasts and that's what they're useful for so let's let's look at the reference sheet um i got to give a shout out to steve templeton for this one uh he gave me the website that i found this on that's the weatherprediction.com so i have to say a huge thanks to him for that uh over at channel four uh, but yeah, once again, I just have to say a huge thank you. And if you want to learn more about weather stuff, you want to get into weather forecasting like me, the weatherprediction.com, that is a great place to educate yourself on that stuff. Just a wonderful place. So here you go. Um, highest pressure ever recorded, lowest pressure with the exception of, uh, tornadoes, which have gotten much lower than that. Uh, but you can see here, 1,030 hectopascals. That's like, um, high pressure. That's very high pressure. This is about average low pressure around 1000 hectopascals you get below there you're going to get maybe a category one hurricane um maybe category two uh and that is something that you'll get there at the 980 um but yeah they're saying category one category three maybe a four when you get down to 950 uh that's very strong they're saying category three hurricane on this particular reference sheet and then 870 that's the lowest ever recorded that was on i think typhoon tip uh back quite a while ago i think it was in 1969 uh don't quote me on that one but that's when i think that was but yeah uh that's what i have to explain there so you can check me out on social media at microcasting on facebook twitter and instagram thank you so much for watching this is microcasting st louis signing out